Fifth straight game missing due to injury. Halliburton for three, no good. Rebound is tipped. Heald saves it. I love the effort. And a basket by Turner. Much better than I think a lot of people thought he would. Three of his last five games, he scored 20 or more points. Nemhard, native of Canada, hits the three. Now, it's interesting yesterday, Quinn, after practice, uh, the media met with Andrew Nemhard, and they, they asked him. He grew up a Raptors fan. And Gomez is in seventh year out of Spain. Benedict Matherin's teammate, Christian Coloco, has been a starter. That's a basket. If you don't have 75% of the teams in the league playing some form of a zone at some time, they'll, he, yeah, that's Buddy knocked that down. Barnes is not a very good three-point shooter. Keep these guys in front of you. Great no-look pass by Halliburton. Nearly had a T.J. McConnell. Right. Long rebound, Barnes. He's and been shooting it well. But not good offensively, but they think he's a good defensive replacement in there. And Delano block, uh, Banton got the block, and that is Boucher. And eighth in the league in steals with nearly two. Well, he's, you know, from a fantasy league standpoint, he's special. How about that? Boucher. E. Smith came back in, healed on the bench with a couple of fouls. Boucher hangs, scores, and a foul. Two-point Toronto lead. 1-3-1 one, one zone, which means they'll cover the wings. This is the available shot here on the baseline. That's the shot. Halliburton has played the entire first quarter. Got him. Nee Smith in the corner again. Two of them from in front. Of the Seemingly, no, he, he got away with one. Both Nemhard and McConnell on the floor to start the second quarter, and they both have two fouls. And on the back cut, Ananobi. And everything that they do is dependent defensively on what you're trying to do with those guys. Ooh. <laughs> We have seen Jackson now in two straight games. Left hand, right hand, high above the rim. Thad Young, left hand. That's, the post. that's his Pacer starter with McConnell, Neesmith, Jackson, and Brissett. Barnes, size advantage, fires it out to Boucher, who hits the three. Now to Kai Flint, third year out of San Diego State, playing in his eighth game. Again, no Fred Van Vliet with a left hand, and Thad Young. 12 to 6, the advantage for Toronto in this quarter. Ooh, he tear drops the rebound, picked away by Mather. Now you gotta attack it. One way or the other, you have to attack it. There you go. That's the attack you gotta make. Keep people in front of you. Defensively, you gotta keep people in front of you. It's not gonna get there. And this time Halliburton has his first. There go, go, go double. Banton just came in and hits the three. That uh, they can get a, a mismatch almost everywhere. Halliburton finds Heald for three Tough in the corner. Shot and he makes it. Halliburton has just two points. Matherin has not scored as Flynn hits. Halliburton. Get up. They've got a five on four. And Ananobi gives him a 13. Um, the way they do with Joker, they can get to old school basketball and, and make it very difficult. As somehow it's paid off for the Pacers, as Toronto has not shot the three particularly well, though they shot it well in the second quarter. Inside Turner. The thing about him that has been impressive that's a big body that is very quick in Ananobi. Strong and quick is Smith. Was challenged by Halliburton. Pacers have cut it to nine. Trying to force a timeout. Healed the basket. Anything else? Eight straight Indiana points. Trent, head down, puts it up. Got it. Turner got it. Pacers on the move. Here comes Buddy. Let it go. Buddy Heal got it. Up there, he gets you in there. He's just tough. And some of me heard me say this a long time ago that um, Jay Crops. Oh my goodness! Opportunity, and it's been all Toronto since nine straight. He's got to raise up and shoot. That's on the line. Hit. Lynn used the screen, and he'll drive and try to kick it. Hit. Yeah, I mean, you can see back as he advanced it, and they were able to get it into a corner. Now, Ben made a tough shot. 
Because it, it was challenging. Matherin, a tough three. The, the good thing for the Pacers, I mean, there are a lot of good things that they can do, but the defense is down on their end. Boucher for th They have 18 for the game. You're not going to get that shot. Out of Burton. Hits a three. An open in the corner, and, they, and the Pacers wouldn't advance it to him. And you've you got to get to think about Nemhard as they throw him. Yeah, he's not bashful, is no, he? No, he's not bashful at all. I'm telling you. Oh, Great catch in the cup. I mean, I didn't. Otto Porter has come back in for the Raptors. Nice job. They took the middle away to the strong hand. He just made a tough shot. Tough. Halliburton. Short. Rebound. He never got his legs under. No look past the Jackson. Again, it's a, is it a 2-3? Yeah, it's a 2-3 zone. They've gone out of that 1-3-1. One, one. The corner is still open. Matherin for three. Got it again. Halfway through the quarter. Pacers by one. Oh, yeah. In the second. Tipped away by Halliburton. Good movement there. Attacking from here. Yes. Dances his oh, way outside. Picking it up. That's the other thing about playing against this kind of thing. You pick it up, you got to have somewhere to go with it. Here's a long three. Halliburton. Got it. Even though the flow, which I thought was disruptive in the first half, they haven't been nearly as scattered here in the second half. Young got it in the lane. See that scenario? You got to get into the motion. Buddy Heel, three. Perfect. Four of them tonight for Buddy Heel. Yeah, easy. You don't have to take it on quickly. Heald spins on Porter and lays it in. Yeah, don't, you don't have to be in a hurry. Just get you a good look. Team could get a double. Was impressive coming out in that second half. The post up weren't there nearly as much. Um, the offensive rebounds weren't there nearly as much.